Makes a pretty nice sound, doesn't it? We got one of our favorite subscriptions of the month. So hey guys, I'm back and we have here the Going Gear EDC Club for February 2024. Let's get into it and see what we've got. I'm pretty excited because you guys know how much I love this one because it is always awesome. And trying to keep the shipping label on the bottom and yet still cut into it and not cut anything up that's in it. You wanna take bets on whether or not I slice something open by accident? Carefully, oh. I'll say again, yeah. Anyway, love EDC Club because all the stuff in it is so, it's not only cool, but it's, you know, useful EDC stuff. It doesn't even say EDC Club this time. Oh, well, packaging is always changing. But if you've seen, if this is your first EDC Club unboxing, you know, welcome. If not, we love EDC Club because why do I feel like this is a joke? This is like a one of those Russian dolls or something. Um, this is weird. See, that one was really easy to open. Why are the USPS bags so hard? EDC Club stuff is full of stuff that you can use. Oh, really? Seriously? <laughs> Another door. Oh, got a sweet ace beam there. Uh, wait a minute, I gotta make sure that I'm not, I don't wanna lose the packing list somewhere in here. This was just bizarre. Four different packages. But, okay, so back to what I was saying. Ooh, 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 back to what I was saying. EDC Club has some of the coolest stuff because it is EDC oriented. Whether it is your EDC that you literally carry, your everyday carry, or EDC stuff that you can just use every day. So we've got the EDC Premium Plus Pro. I cannot remember what it is. It's the EDC um, Premium. And we've got two different things in the Premium. We've got three different things in the Standard. So I am pretty excited and we will check it all out. Hopefully the 3D printer will be, oh, God, that smells good. Oh, it smells so good. The 3D printer will be powering down. It's cooling right now. I just finished another fun thing. So let's get the Ace Beam and the Creek Bend Leathercraft leather wallet. They will be in the premium. Now there is a link to Going Gear. It's not affiliate or anything. It is just a link to Going Gear because I think they're awesome. Yeah, another, this is on here somewhere, isn't it? Or it was before I redid everything. I swear to God, I had this. Maybe it came off. I need to redo. I said I was going to redo the board, and I am. Um, Going Gear is the website, the company, they have a big store that puts together the EDC Club. I just really like them. Um, and I always like to put the links of places that I think is cool, places I'm willing to spend my money. So there's a link to Going Gear in the video description where you can check it out if you like EDC Club. This is really one of the best money spent subscriptions anywhere. So we're gonna start with the EDC keychain clip, black, 395. All these prices are not MSRP. These are the actual prices from their website where you can get stuff. So. I think that's probably aluminum. I just had a magnet where I tested something the other day I'm sure this is aluminum. No, nope, it's steel. That's a steel clip. It sticks. So you got a steel clip, and it's a pretty nice size. It's not like overly heavy, but pretty good size. And a folded gate. And it looks like, yeah. So you can actually adjust this to whatever size you need to put it on stuff. Now they say keychain. I would use this more as, um, I would use this to, to attach this to gear because this also happens to be the exact same size as the webbing for Molly gear. So this would also be Molly compatible. So you could slip this into the webbing on say your plate carrier or pack or whatever else and you could connect stuff to it. So this is kind of a cool thing. And like I said, very adjustable, like it, definitely like it. Um, and, or you could, you know, Put it on a belt and clip stuff to it. Cool. Next, the Kaiser Knife Roll, fourteen ninety five. Um, I have not seen this. 
Again, I'll say this for people that might not be familiar. So a knife roll just lets you take a knife or other EDC tools and slip them in and it gives them some protection. I know I have another knife sitting around because I always have three or four. Well, I have a little Leatherman here, which will also work. And I'm just putting it in this large pouch to show you. So there's smaller pouches, larger pouches. And then these skinnier ones on the end, you can put, say, a pen in. And then it lets you roll it all up and it keeps everything nice and safe. And then you can put this in a pocket. You can put it in a bag, whatever. Great for traveling. Um, this one doesn't seem to have any padding in it. Some of them have padding, some of them don't. But it's by Kaiser, which is cool. Very good heavyweight nylon. The Velcro is not weak and shitty. It holds on. I mean, of course, it's going to fall out eventually. But what I'm saying is it, it's not shitty Velcro. It holds pretty well. And we got a total of, what, one, two, three, four, eight pockets, uh, three of the large size, three of the smaller size, and then the skinny one and one So definitely something useful because you just you can put all your whatever tools you have and throw it in the bag and not worried about them getting scratched up, banging into stuff, scratching up other things that you have that you want to keep nice. So that's cool too. We always have a knife. Ooh, Nitro-V. I love Nitro-V. For some reason, some people don't like Nitro-V. I'm not going to get into that now. We've talked about Nitro-V. I like it. And we've seen some knives that come with it. This is the Civivi Stormhell 7480. Civivi is a cool... Um, they used to... Well, I don't know if they were ever a real budget-friendly brand. To me, budget-friendly is something... We'll say less than $50, ideally somewhere in the $25 to $30 area, but I always consider a budget-friendly knife less than $50. And I think, I guess Civivi does have some in that area, but um, they're, they're more budget-friendly than their big brother company, which is uh, Wii. I'm pretty sure, Ugh. or I'm getting it wrong, I don't know. Let's see. Compact yet robust folding knife design for precision and durability. Nitro V steel. Uh, what is the what is the frame made of? Uh, milled black aluminum handle. Okay. And so it's coated, probably deal. It looks like DLC coating. Doesn't look like Cerakote. And then of course they give it a, a vroom on the belt. So you got your silvery accents, your bare aluminum accents. Deep carry clip. Ooh, that's a tough clip though. I mean, it's got a little flex in it. Might break in a little bit and loosen up, but that is a tough clip. But very nice action. That is that is pretty. See that dark stone wash there? And then the satin flats, that's nice. And a perfect button lock. I have trouble with button locks at first. Like, I really got to get used to them, each individual knife. But once you get a button lock down, it's very one-handable. I have trouble finding that sweet spot where to let them go. There we go, where to let them go when I'm closing them. Really nice blade, though. Very lightweight. Very EDC-sized. Almost too small for my hand. Almost. But very EDC-friendly. Let's see. We got the money right here. I feel nothing. I feel nothing as it goes through the paper. If I actually cut the paper, that would be great. It actually, I, it feels so good because you feel nothing. It just, it just slices. That is absolutely something I'm going to carry around. Um, very, like, again, slim, lightweight, very nice. Awesome. And I'm surprised this isn't even in the premium, I guess, because, you know, the premium knives they give us are usually in the, the 150 plus category. They give us some real good premium knives for the money. And then um, you get a little, you know, one of these. And then cloth, not bad. I mean, not bad. It's not the best cloth. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody really cares how good the cloth is, but some companies have given us better. Most companies give us much worse. And then a sticker and warranty and another sticker and nice fluffy padded case so this is definitely cool definitely like that all right so that's the standard everything we got in the standard 
Let's move into the premium. And we start with the Creek Bend Leathercraft Leather Wallet, $69. Now, what does it say? <laughs> oh, thin, your chiropractor will approve. Locally handmade full grain leather wallet with super thin profile. It is super thin. And I'm telling you, this thing smells amazing. It smells like, I mean, it smells like really good quality leather. And you guys know I'm weird, I smell stuff. But I this, oh, it's so soft and I hate to use a fancy word like supple. But if I was watching how it's made, they would talk about how supple the leather is. It really, it honestly, I'm not going to use this because I love my uh, Code 118, my little, you know, press the button, things pop up wallet. Um, I might use this for something else besides a wallet. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out because it is just, it's too good to not use for something. It's beautiful. Um, it's really soft. You can, I mean, you can just feel how good quality the leather is there. And it smells so fucking good. Oh. But you've got, I guess, two card pouches. And these would fit two or three cards each right here. And then main pouch for business cards, bills, whatever. Um, the thing is, I don't know if this would fit comfortably in, in a front pocket. I don't carry a wallet in the back pocket because that's asking to be pickpocketed. I carry my wallet in my front pocket or if I've got a jacket with an inside pocket, I think this is the size of this is jacket in the inside pocket size. But, you know, your pockets may vary, I don't know. It's a shame it doesn't fold up, but it, you know, this is really just a, a really beautiful piece of leather, I love it. And I'm gonna sit and sniff it all night. So, um, oh, let me give you this, let me give you this. So there's a QR code here that you can scan all right, I'm going to put that on screen for a second because then use code EDC25, you get 25% off of anything in their stock. Limited time only. I'm going to check that out. If this is any indication of how good their stuff is, I'm going to go check that out. I love leather stuff, leather products. So, awesome. Um, the big ticket item in the premium box is the Ace Beam Terminator M2. Ace, ooh, oh, shiny, shiny. But it's not a crab. But it could be, if it wanted to be. I won't tell it how it identifies, because I don't want Democrats coming for me and like ruining my life. Okay. It looks almost like a little tiny PEQ. Aw. If you don't know what a PEQ is, it's a, it's a thing we put on our rifles, and it's got a laser and an infrared laser. Well, some of them had a visible laser. They don't have a visible laser anymore. It's just an infrared laser, but it's... Anyway, it does look like a little tiny... Yeah. So I'm really curious because look at this guy over here. It looks like it's got a, like an actual laser in it, which I'm sure it's okay. I got, I'm going to shut the fuck up. We're going to see features advanced modes, like seven color automatic cycle, red SOS, um, spotlight, floodlight. All right. We got to figure this out. And I hope it's partially charged so we can just get right into it because this looks like a piece of hardware. This doesn't just look like a flashlight, um, and ACE beam. I, my introduction to Ace Beam came from EDC Club, and my favorite, I don't know where it is now because I've been using it all over the place. It's somewhere in this messy work area. Um, I think it's the E70. Yeah, I remember because it sounds like a Stormtrooper's blaster. Um, is my favorite light of all that I carry around all the time. Ace Beam makes tremendously good stuff. So I'm actually going to have to read the instructions on this one as much as I hate that. It's got a 2000 lumen turbo. We've got um, a little switch here from floodlight to spotlight. The hell with instructions. I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. There we go. 3100 milliamp hour battery. So we got a lot of time and power on this. It does look, it looks like something you'd strap on your rifle. It, I love it. I love it. Okay. What happens if we hold it down? Nothing? Oh, this big one is the spotlight. Oh my god, that is... I can feel heat coming off that. Um, oh, it, look, we got a green battery LED, so it must be fully charged. Um, what happens if we press it again? If we hold it down on spotlight, does that do anything? I know, I should just... I should just read the instructions. 
It says the max distance on the spotlight is 500 meters. Um, I'm having trouble reading it a little bit now because I'm so sort of light blind from staring at the spotlight. By the way, it's got a clip on it. It looks like you can put any old Benchmade clip on there if you wanted. It looks like. I don't know if the screw pattern is exactly. That means you should be able to replace it with a Benchmade deep carry clip, which would be cool if you wanted to. Um, floodlight output is 2,000 lumens, beam throw 164 meters. Uh, one spotlight mode plus four brightness levels of floodlights. So let's switch it back to floodlight. And I'm guessing if we hold it down. All right, I'm gonna turn the, the big light off here so we can do this. Okay, and now let's switch to spotlight. And I guess, you know, this is for throwing light at a distance, but it's reflecting off this white piece of paper into my eyes, it's blinding. So this is your 500 meter distance light at 900 lumens. Um, I'm gonna double click, so just be prepared for anything. Is that, I don't know what just happened, nothing? All right, I'm gonna triple click, be prepared for a strobe. Oh, that turned on both. We got both. All right. Um, let's do four clicks just for the hell of it. Yep. All right. So we're learning a lot of stuff. I definitely need to read the instructions to learn how to get the color mode going on. It's IP68, which means it's totally dustproof, which means it can go uh, underwater for two meters for at least 30 minutes. All right, if we press and hold this for half a second, it should go on moonlight. And you can't see, but it's it's on moonlight, which is like half a lumen or something, or like one lumen, um, but it's on. Um, and moonlight is, yeah, one lumen, okay? Now, if we turn it off, and we hold it for one second, we should get our color changing. I'm gonna turn the light off again so you can see better. Where's the switch? Okay. Now that doesn't go very far. It doesn't like throw light very far, but I think it's more of a visual if you use it as a beacon because you'd be able to see that if you're looking straight at it at night. And it is kind of, it is a little hard to tell the change on some of the colors. Red, green, darker green, purplish blue, dark blue, purple, violet, white, red. Yeah, so some of the colors I think on the video might come out the same, um, but it, if you're looking right at that, that, that would carry at night a little bit, even though it doesn't throw light down range sort of so to speak so we saw the turbo it's it's the double click that is 2000 lumens which doesn't seem like it right now i guess but you know when you're out in the dark i guess that's pretty bright and then pressing it double clicking twice goes back down so um it's got a little bit of weight to it but i like the fact that it's shaped for your hand so as you're you know, as you're holding it, it's kind of ergonomic that way. Um, they really need to make a helmet mount for this. But you can switch to a floodlight. The floodlight only has one, only has one um, setting. But you can switch on and off, back and forth all you want. This is a fun light. And I think it's got a lot of good purposes, uh, you know. And if you're into airsoft, just just duct tape this to the end of your airsoft gun and tell people it's your designator. Okay, uh, this is a cool light. Ace Beam makes some really cool stuff. And I I understand the the aux, the, the light. Um, it, they're all half a lumen. Um, so, you know, you use it for like pointing right at somebody. There's a red SOS. I don't know how to get that on. 
and I think we're okay. And then, of course, there's a lockout feature. Definitely uh, a good addition for the premium. So, all right, I spent way too long on that light, but I always spend too long on flashlights. So here's our items once again. Oh, and you got your USB charging. Got to take the battery out to charge it, which is the problem, which is the only problem with the thing. And a lanyard you could attach. So we've got the really nice piece of leather, the wallet. We've got the really awesome flashlight, which we're calling the mini PEQ. We've got the very nice Civivi, perfect for EDC carry. We've got the Kaiser knife roll, and we've got our utility clip, keychain, whatever. I don't know, um, maybe not the most exciting EDC club we've ever gotten, but you know what? Everything in this box is always useful. Everything in here has a use that I will use, that I could use, that I wanna use. Beautiful, gorgeous knife, love it. Um, this is always great. If, if you use knives or tools for anything, these are always good. This I can definitely use no matter what the situation on a backpack in a tactical or tactical scenario or just walking around EDC, I absolutely will be messing with this light over and over and this gorgeous. So there we go. What are your thoughts? What do you guys like? Um, and what's really cool is if you're not a subscriber and you see something you like because everything here comes from the Going Gear website, you can just shoot over to that link I put in the video description, go on Going Gear and look it up and get just that. So. That's what I really like about, about the way Going Gear does business too. So. But what do you guys think? Um, favorite item, least favorite item, the box overall or the envelope overall, all four envelopes overall. I, I love the EDC Club. I think it is it really is some of the best money spent when it comes to subscriptions. Every single month, hands down. I love it. I look forward, I look so forward to it every single month. So. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say and shooting some comments back and forth. Thanks for spending a little more time with me. Remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.